Hello students, welcome to Academia. Today we discuss about animal tissues. As in our previous discussion, we have uh, discussed about tissue. As we know that uh, cell, which is the basic structural unit, cell makes tissues and the tissues make organ and the organ make the system and the system make our body so this is uh, the brief uh, elaboration that how the cell uh, form the tissues and tissues form the organs, organ form the systems and the system forms our body. Now, what is tissue? Tissues are the cluster of cells. So cluster of cells called tissue. There are four types of tissues. Like epithelial, connective, muscular and nervous. So these four type of tissues constitute our whole of the body. So these four type of tissues, these are epithelial, connective, muscular, nervous, they comprise our body. So our body is made up of these four types of tissues. Now we discuss about epithelial tissue which is very important type of tissue in our body. Epithelial tissue which is also called the covering tissue which covers and protects all our body parts and body organs. There are two types of epithelial tissue. Number one is simple epithelium simple means which have only one layer of cells whereas the compound epithelial tissue which is another type having more than one layer of cell. So these two types are uh, opposite from each other uh, that uh, one having the single layer of cells another having more than one layer of cells. Now the simple epithelial tissue is further subdivided into five classes. Number one is pavement epithelial tissue or squamous epithelial tissue. Number two is cubical epithelial tissue. Number three is columnar epithelial tissue. Number four, ciliated epithelial tissue. And number five is glandular epithelial tissue. So these five divisions of the simple epithelium, we can also say epithelium when it is comprised of the epithelial tissues. 
so these five category of uh, simple epithelium consists of single layer of epithelial cell above the basement membrane so all the th uh, five category of uh, simple epithelial tissue having single layer of cells uh, upon a basement membrane Now the compound epithelial tissue. The compound epithelial tissue is also subdivided into five categories. Number one is transitional. Number two stratified squamous cornified. Number three stratified squamous non-cornified. Number four stratified columnar. And number five is stratified columnar ciliated so these are the five divisions of compound epithelial tissue here all the five category of tissues are made up of more than one layer of epithelial cell upon a basement membrane so here the variety uh, these five varieties having uh, more than one layer of cells. Next, we one by one we discuss about uh, the types of these uh, simple and compound epithelial tissues. And uh, starting, uh, if we start from the simple epithelial tissue, so the number one uh, or the uh, first uh, tissue comes which is called pavement or squamous. So after completion of the simple and compound classification, we move to the individual description of the tissues. Now, the first type of simple epithelial tissue is pavement or squamous. The general features of this epithelial tissue are this is composed of single layer of large flat cells. The cells are placed on their thin basement membrane. So, uh, squamous which is um, a, and uh, not only squamous but uh, this kind of simple epithelial cells are very common and uh, during uh, the demonstration basis uh, we can uh, easily collect it from our upper and lower lips uh, of mouth uh, apart from this uh, in various uh, organs of our body, this, this squamous epithelium is present. So, uh, if we see the distribution of the squamous in our body, then we found that in uh, many places of uh, areas of our body, this squamous epithelium is present and uh, which uh, uh, gives a protection uh, as well as uh, the uh, pro uh, in variety of organs they remain present so that uh, these organs become covered.